Hey Model Maniacs, Derek here, getting ready to do that all-important kit review so that you, the model junkie, can make an informed decision on what kit you want to buy. Today, we're going to be looking at, yes, another Tom Daniel kit from Monogram Models. Right there, yeah. The Batman, the Batman, one of the pinnacle designs by Tom Daniel. The box top has evolved over the years um, from the classic white box top with the picture of the model on it to now this version of a painting of the car driving down the drag strip, uh, beating its opponents, obviously, because its opponent's way back there. Very, very cool kit. Um, box, typical monogram box. Uh, picture of the box art is all over it. It shows a picture of the back of the car. Adios, mother. But this is still just a picture rendering. It's not actual model. Um, let's take a look inside and see what's in the box. Okay, so inside the box we've got five sprues of parts, a couple that are free for floating parts like the body, uh, for a total of about 61 parts in this kit. All right, so let's see inside and what we have. We're gonna start with the first sprue here. It's got the interior tub, very sparse, not a lot to it, but there is some detail in the side. It's kind of hard to see even if I zoom in uh, because it's all molded in yellow and it just kind of gets washed out with the camera, but there is um, panel detail, uh, window cranks, door cranks, stuff like that there, uh, which is pretty neat. The post uh, will support the seats obviously <clears throat> and then you have your hood with the classic uh, hole for the uh, scoop or in this case uh, yeah it's got a scoop or you can make it you can put your engine through there it's kind of neat but it's pre-cut for you is what I'm getting at also if you look on there it's got hood pins molded in okay next we got our chrome tree Lots and lots of chrome as usual for a Tom Daniel kit. Alright, let's see if we can't get in here a little bit more. Alright, you've got your wheels, you've got your deep dish back wheels, you've got your front wheels, you've got your um, the chrome trim for your uh, front grille. Alright, we've got uh, suspension sway bars there, you've got, I'm not sure what everything is here, but you've got your gear shifter there. You got the top of your scoop, you've got your um, valve covers, headlights, springs, wheelie bars, or actually no, these aren't the wheelie bars, I'm sorry, these are um, these are the um, the support braces for the body, keep it from twisting. Um, you got your steering wheel, looks a little cattywampus there, don't it? Not very uh, round. You got the top of your blower. You've got some uh, suspension shackles there. You've got your pulley system, the front of your blower, the front of your scoop, your rear bumper, your the the um, rear tail lights, and the ornament for the hood. Okay. Um, for me myself, I think these chrome parts are usually pretty much over the top. Um, and I usually strip them down and repaint them, but that's just my what I do. But that's where they are. And this really, this piece really is all kinds of cattywampus now, isn't it? Wow. Woo. Even these are all kinds of warp now. I've never seen that actually. That's kind of messed up. Wow. I've had this kit sitting in my stash for a while, and um, it's the first time I'm actually opening it. The second time I'm actually opening it first time was because I stole the uh, decals out of it for another project. But anyway, I digress. Continuing on, we've got ourselves another sprue. We've got the headers, which really are not the most um, nice looking. But again, um, that's just part of the nostalgicness of a Tom Daniel kit, I think. You've got some, uh, you've got the roll bar here for the interior. You've got flaps for the back. Mud flaps, I believe they are. You've got your wheel um, wheel backs. The rings for the front. You 
you've got your chassis it's an all-in-one piece so you've got your frame your tank and your exhaust system is molded in even though this isn't the exhaust that you would use because it's got open headers um, I always thought that was kind of weird but again uh, monogram reused parts over and over and over again so this was probably built for a stock Chevy at one point in time not much you can do unless you want to really cut that out and make some repairs it's a lot of effort but it is what it is next up we have our seats okay these c-shaped seats with the uh, inserts in there you can see that okay then we got our engine halves it's a bit of flash on here it has to be cleaned up but it's nothing that's over the top hard to do um, I don't think you're gonna lose any detail by cleaning up the flash <clears throat> the sprue here focus it's got the engine is the console for the center of the, the interior you've got your radiator support and radiator you've got your um, dash panel you've got some uh, leaf springs for the back you've got your rear end heads the um, magneto I think for the engine and the battery and then you got your pedals here oh and then there's your drive shaft okay again if you're looking for accuracy for a 55 Chevy this isn't the kit for you but if you're looking for a wild over the top Chevy um, gasser this would be the kit for you it comes with uh, a set of red tinted windows they're one piece wrapped around and the red scoop here I've seen other iterations of this where it actually gave you two of these one was clear and one was um, tinted like this so it gave you an option this kit does not give us that option inside we have our wheels you got your front wheels solid plastic okay there you go you can see a little bit of the tread there uh, nicely done you get two of those hard plastic and then you've got two slicks okay the slicks are plain there's no names or anything on it they're just slick and uh, smooth surfaces okay but they are pretty good tires they're not cheap and they're not the two-piece hollow tires you have to glue together so a plus for the tires on this kit um, I can't show you the decals because I took the decals out for another project that's why I had originally bought this kit um, but you've seen them before I'm pretty sure there's not a lot in it basically it's the black stripe here with the engine number that's one piece you've got the lettering here you've got the bad man and it's got a couple of um, uh, sponsor uh, decals here and there um, the back of it the back of it where is it it comes with the license plate it comes with the adios and it's also got the um, the markers for the windshield the windows for the for the class um, that's really about all there is I'm sorry I don't have that for you if you wanted to there are aftermarket decals kits for these for this car um, you can order more if you so choose um, next we have our instruction booklet it is uh, again uh, booklet form full page of instructions uh, 12 pages in all a um, little bit of history of the bad man here uh, your uh, tips and tricks from building it colors that are required um, parts break down here and then you've got your steps to building okay like everything else it starts with the engine and moves forward it works its way back seven steps eight to nine steps to complete the car and then it gives you your decals uh, information here so you can again you got two for the back you got your adios you got your decal and then you just got a couple that you can see here you got your stripe your sponsor stuff here um, very very limited but still in the end it comes out to be a very sharp looking car I dig it a lot so there is your bad man kit I hope this helps you I hope that if uh, now that you seen what's inside if you're searching eBay or whatever your 
online market for choice is when you see this kit and you're thinking about getting it um, you now know what's inside the box um, just extra FYI information this kit has also been reboxed under the 55 Chev uh, kit which has got a black car on it uh, later on again 55 Chevy and I believe also uh, it might have been like a Black Widow or something like that kit but I, don't hold me to that but I believe it was basically it's the same kit inside the box just the different markings on the outside so again until next time guys be strong